Hello everybody. I'm uh, working on a few things on this car right now and I might, I might go ahead and include some of it in this video. But I wanted to start it out by thanking Ben for uh, something he sent me here. Seven Chevelle radio bezel. And an original 67 Chevelle Super Sport Love Box bezel. So I'm going to put it on the car right now. Much better. So, uh, I've got a second video going at the moment, but I wanted to go ahead and make that video about that dash piece and uh, show this a little bit. I had to take that transmission partially back apart because when I put it together, I didn't uh, put the speedometer gear on the house on the main shaft, so. I went ahead and done that and got it together to where it does have a speedometer drive and stuff now. And uh, I thought I'd show you this again. This transmission is definitely put together out of stuff that nobody else would run. Even the teeth have pitting on them and it's all it's all rust so uh that's why i put that one together for my car you know mine ain't gonna be a race car i'm not gonna get out here and uh beat around on it so uh after i get the side cover put back on it. I don't have a gasket. I'll uh, talk to you a little bit more. I wanted to go ahead and make this video to, to show that I got those pieces and to thank him for that and uh, getting that a, a real super sport dash panel that's one less thing that somebody can point out on that car as not being right because that's an original so thank you a lot for that it's really appreciated and another point another part I wanted to make this video for uh, I wanted to explain in a video why I'm taking the 400 back out and putting in a, putting in a Muncie. That car, I said it a long time ago, but it was an original four-speed car. It wasn't an automatic. In 1974, Dad's wife at the time uh, needed a car, and he had that one, but it was a four-speed. She couldn't drive a manual at the time. So he traded around, and he got that Turbo 400. He put that in that car in 1974. And it was wrecked in 77 or 78. So it was an automatic for four years, three or four years. Uh, and apparently during that time, the speedometer wasn't hooked up. So that 98,000 miles was 98,000 miles as a four speed. It might have gotten a couple thousand miles put on it. But... Uh, Transmission to me 
it needed to be a four speed. I like them better. Uh, if uh, if something happens with a Muncie, let's say the shifter messes up or even the clutch messes up like it won't release or something. If something happens, you can more than likely shut the car off and get underneath it and daze the thunder it into like third gear and crank it back up and drive home. You can't do that with a turbo 400. That transmission worked okay, but to actually trust that transmission, I put maybe 10 miles on it. But to actually trust that transmission, I would have had to had seals and gaskets put in it and everything looked at. For a transmission that is an automatic, even though it's a turbo 400, it's, it's not something that I wanted, overly wanted. You know, I, I started planning a backup for that transmission six months ago. Rounding up parts for this one and everything else. I have decided that the four speed's the way to go. So that transmission there is a 67. The case is a 67. The tail housing's a 67. It's got matching shift levers. It's all 67. I think even the shifter itself is. And I've dug around and found what appears to be a complete 67 bench seat shifter. And I have this one. And this one I have a bucket seat handle for. Bucket seat console handle. But this one, while it's a little better than that one, I'd have to take it apart. There's an issue with uh, the reverse gate. There's a little spring clip or something in there. And it doesn't like going into reverse. That one goes into reverse easy when you pull the handle up. That one didn't act right. But that one's loose as hell. Which again, I can put the bucket seat handle on it and I can drive it with it loose like that as long as I'm careful. Not anybody could get in that car and take it off, take off in it because as soon as you go to put it in gear, you're probably going to cross it between reverse and first or cross it going into another gear. I mean, it's loose. But it has to have an original 67 style shifter. Has to have it. Anyway, that's the plan. Uh, next video, I'm going to be putting that transmission in that car. Taking the other one out, putting that one in. Uh, hopefully by then my brake, my pedals will have came in. And... Let me know what you think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff.